I'm sure you're really having yourself a wonderful time listening to all the good music that we played for your listening pleasure. Okay, so I'm going to take you through all the things that happened on social media uh, yesterday and some of the most interesting events that went down yesterday. The 60th Grammy Award happened last night and a lot of people won so many, so many, so many awards. I'm talking about close to 80 categories. Yes, and we've got winners for it. Yeah, and we have one biggest winner. That biggest winner is Bruno Mars. He is not the only biggest winner here. We have another winner like Kendrick Lamar and an unfortunate person who you know was nominated eight times he got the biggest nomination but he lost all of them so some people are saying he's the biggest loser for the night I'm talking about Jay-Z and it really was spectacular you needed to see what they all wore to the Grammy Awards you know it's just another kind of fashion going on over there and it's very interesting all right so uh, somebody seemed to wear something that is worth 2.6 million US dollars to the Grammy Awards and that person is no other person than Beyonce the Queen herself so she was there with her son Blue Ivy and they were all looking so gorgeous her gown was really spectacular aha quickly now let us just talk about Big Brother Nigeria two weeks before it started there was this hashtag going on on uh, social media especially on instagram and twitter you know people were trying to remind themselves of what went on during the 2017 big brother nigeria yes it was really nice the way they just had to you know do a recap of all that went on before this new set of people would come into the house and already they're in the house right now and and a lot of controversy seems to be emanating from them people have already gone to their social media handles to see you know what to talk about and they've already found something on one of the housemates whose name is Ike Chuku Miracle he's a 24 year old pilot they went to his Instagram and excavated pictures not one many pictures of him with a ring seems like the young man has put a ring on someone so uh they want to find out if he's going to follow the same similar trend thin tall tony went through you know thin tall tony kind of misled nigerians when he said that he wasn't married last year and we eventually found out that he was really really married <laughs> <laughs> very married okay so uh well this is what's happening with ikechuku miracle finally i'm just going to tell you about oprah winfrey you know her yes she's turned 64 today and she's still looking gorgeous every single part of her body very gorgeous woman now you have to remember that she did say uh, she might be running for presidency come 2020 and already I've seen this particular trend. It does seem like there are some people in America who can play America like chess. They already know who's going to be the president. I just don't know. It just feels like America is just a chess for them and they play it. That is the reason why we have had a lot of predictions of who would be the next American president. Before Obama came in, there was a cartoon that predicted the first black American president. And Obama had happened. Yes, just as simple as that. And we also have another cartoon that predicted that Trump would definitely be the president. And right where we are right now, Trump is the president, isn't he? Alright, so I'll like to have your thoughts on this one. Do you think Oprah would be the first black American female president? Okay, so you can call 0705765202. Let's hear your thought on the matter. So you gotta stick around because we still have more programs coming your way right here. Don't go anywhere. It's all music, music, and more music on your radio. The Takeover Show with King Faye is done and dusted.